Good evening. Good evening, teacher. And Good Jose. evening. How are you, Irene and Jose? I am very well, teacher. Thank you for asking. And you? Good. I'm doing okay um, as well. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Good. How was your weekend, Jose? Uh, hi, teacher. Uh, I was a little hard because I had to to work in my heart in my house. Okay, good. Fixing something. Sixty. Fixing something. Oh, okay, good. Mm -hmm. Nice. How are you, Julia? Hey, teacher. Fine. Good. Fine. Nice. Good weekend. Good, good. A working Let's... weekend. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Roxana, how are you? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Did you have Hi. a nice weekend, Roxana? Um, yeah, more or less. <laughs> okay. I think so. Yeah, right. yes. yes. Good, good. Mario, how are you, Mario? Hi, good evening. Good evening. Nice. Oscar. Hey. Good how evening, are, you, how are you, Oscar? I'm okay. Okay, good. good. Nice. I did so many errands today, so many chores, errands. Uh huh. And um, that's a good day. This was a good day. Good, good. Nice. That's the idea, you know, that we have good days every day. You know, and sometimes we have news that we would rather not receive, but that's life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, totally. Okay, so what is today's date? November 9th, November 9th, 2020. Yes, Oscar, how do you spell November? Uh, N O uh, B. E N M -E M B E R E R <laughs> Yes, November. November. Okay. What is the November. day, Mario? What day is today? Uh, Monday. How do you spell Monday? M O N D A Y. Okay. And Irene, how do you spell ninth? M I M E. N I N. Remember that uh, uh, when we talk about dates in, in, in English, um, we always use ordinal numbers. So, what is the ordinal for nine? Anybody? How do you spell ninth? Noveno. The H at the end. N-I-N-E-T-H. Okay, someone else? Jose Rodriguez, how do you spell ninth? N-I-T-H. Okay. okay. N-I-N-I-N-I-E-H-G, -I -N -I -E something like that. <laughs> okay, so we have... I have nine books. I have nine dollars. I have nine chairs in my house. You say nine. Um, when you're speaking about ordinal numbers, you spell it like this. Letter E disappears. So usually the difference between cardinals and ordinals um, is TH at the end. But Number five, nine, and 12, which finishing TH, you make a, a small change. Like in the case of nine, you make letter E disappear, and then you put TH. How do you say cinco? I have cinco dollars. Five dollars. Five dollars. How do you say quinto? Fifth. Fifth. So in that case, you mm. make V E disappear. Yes. You put F, F and then I you put T H. Right. Mm -hmm. Now, how do you say yo tengo 12 libros? 
I have 12 books. Uh -huh. How do you say 12 in ordinal numbers? Uh, well, 12. E -W -E How do you spell it? T W E L D H. Okay. 12. 12. Mm -hmm. So when you go from cardinal to ordinal, V E disappear. Then you put letter F, and then at the end, you always put TH, 12th. 12. So, remember, every day is ordinal in English, every day. Okay, um, are there any questions or comments about our last class? Sorry. I don't, I didn't went to the class. I didn't come to the class. Did they come to the class? Yes, on uh, only a few people were here on Friday. Only so, like six people, I think. I was working on Friday and still I finished my work around 1.30 a.m. from Saturday. So sorry for <laughs> missing don't, my English class. Don't worry, Mario. Yes, but this week, all days. All so. right, good, very good, excellent. All right, um, any questions or comments about what we did on Friday? No? Okay, so um, let me assign you to working pairs. Let's give a few more minutes to the one that are not here yet. And you will be speaking about the activities you did on the weekend. So we'll go like this. All right, and here we go. Talk about the things you did on your weekend. Use simple past, past continuous. Be careful with the ED pronunciation and let's talk. busy uh, but on weekend I was at home because we all all days of the last week we okay. were waiting for um, Minel told us something about to come back to the class uh, Wait, are you a teacher I am a teacher uh, in I work in administrative Area too. I oh, work okay. at the University of Tecnológica. Oh, that's great. Yeah, I studied in the, the in, in the school that is in front of the, 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 the of that university in the Colegio La Asunción. Oh. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, uh -huh. Yeah, like. Yes. <laughs> Fifteen years ago or something like that. <laughs> oh, uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. Years ago. No, two thousand one. Yeah. Wow. Um, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm completely an old lady. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, don't laugh. Is the truth? <laughs> okay. But, but you are very young. No problem. <laughs> yeah, you're young. Yeah, no. No. no more. No more. So, uh, nice. And then I, I went to sleep. After that, I woke up at at, the, at twelve. At twelve, I had lunch and I stayed home the whole afternoon. So oh. I did. That was nothing really special, but it was I was uh, relaxed. That, that was a relaxed Sunday. You you really rest stress a lot. Mm, yeah, yeah, maybe because of the the. My working schedule, uh -huh, I had the chance to be here at home. Uh -huh. How about you, Irinia? What did you do last weekend? 
Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Nice to see you again. Well, my weekend was house or your bed, so <laughs> but I don't know. And you, how was your day? Um, in my case, Mario, uh, my weekend was very nice. Uh, I I was very busy, and I visit my family, and I visit my friends, some friends, but. Uh, it was uh, raining, right? Then mm, really, no Sundays didn't rain. On, or yes, on Saturday in Santa Ana is raining. Sa ah, you live in Santa Ana. Yes, it was, ah. it was raining in Santa Ana on okay. Saturday. Then I was in, in my house at, at, and at night. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. And then we cook, we cook, cook uh, some food for for my son. And then we, sorry, I was uh, to sleep, sleep. Mm. sleep. And, and you slept? Hello, hello. Good evening, teacher. Hello, hello Jennifer. Hello, Nubia. How are you? Uh, thank you, teacher. I am very good. Nice. Okay, right now, uh, we're giving a few more minutes for the ones that are not here yet. So, uh, Nuvia and Jennifer will be talking about the different activities you guys did on the weekend. Okay. Yeah, so use the simple past tense, use past continuous, and so on. Got it? Okay. okay. Got it. Yeah. Good. Okay. I stopped going to the gym. So the consequences, I mean, of that is that I have gained a lot of weight. And I wish I could skip one meal a day. I mean, the, the lunch. I wish I could only have a breakfast and then the dinner. But, it's, it's right. but I have heard that if you if you are going to try to avoid a meal, it should be the the dinner. The dinner okay. Or you have to reduce the quantity of food that you are eating at night. But not not the lunch or the breakfast. You have to eat those and try to avoid the the dinner. But I don't know. If, if that works, because I have tried, mm -hmm. but I haven't seen results. And yeah. I think in my case, <laughs> in my case, I gain a weight because during the quarantine, we were baking a lot. But when I say a lot, <laughs> it's a, a lot of a pastry yeah. that we were baking. We learned uh, how to make quesadillas, cupcakes, and a lot of different <laughs> desserts. So I wow. think that's the reason, and not necessary, necessarily that I ate uh, more than the normal, but I included more, more bread, so I think that's the reason. Okay, I see. And I have, and I have, uh, I have tried to exercise at home but i i got disappointed because i was trying to exercise for two complete weeks and i didn't lose anything not even a, a, pound. a gram so, a mm -hmm. kilogram not even a yes i stopped trying wow how about you jose did you gain weight during the quarantine uh no uh, no, I I didn't because uh, I tried I tried to to eat normally and do exercise. Uh, I I I had a lot of time to to do exercise because um, I I I was working about four p.m. and then I did exercise. Four, four to five, five p.m. Okay, you know my family doesn't help me 
that on, on diet on dieting <laughs> on dieting because because they are always okay so if I'm not eating they invite me to have lunch to invite me to have dinner aha uh -huh, they say you are a how to say sleeve or desalineado you are not uh, unaligned and you are unaligned because you're not you are you don't want to eat with us is <laughs> how come you you don't you don't love us and all the stuff you know right. and i ended i ended up eating every meal time eating because of the family believe me, <laughs> <laughs> believe me. yeah uh, yeah, you know, like like Irenia says, you know, like sometimes, like she was mm -hmm. exercising, mm -hmm. but after two weeks, she didn't see any results. But remember, at the beginning, you know, it, you're not going to see results overnight because everybody has a different uh, body, every uh, different system. So you were doing the hardest part that nobody wants to do, and that is exercising. So... If I were you, mm -hmm. I would give it another try. Yeah, because I, I wish <laughs> I, 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 I think I need uh, to do more exercise because I used to before the quarantine, before the, the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh -huh. I used to do before that. So I need to do exercise and, uh, and also I need to diet because uh, both of, of them, because I am in a lot and I'm not doing exercise. And, and how much do you weigh, Oscar? How 200. 200. And I, I used to weigh one, 180. Yeah. I, I mean, 180 pounds. Right. So I, I gained uh, 12, 20, 20 pounds in the quarantine. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I'm uh -huh. not in the quarantine because for the, um, the emergency, um, you know, I was very active. I was physically teaching many classes. So I was going from one place to another. And if I had the chance, I would walk. So I lost 30 pounds before the, uh, the, the, the emergency. But it is a lot. Yeah, it is there is a lot. lot. Good. Yeah, it's a lot. But, you know, since the beginning of March up to now, I got those 30 pounds back, you know. And, and I don't do any exercise, and I love to eat. I love to eat. Yeah. Uh, so that's life, you know. No, no, the family has to have to support you when, when you're dieting. Yeah. Uh, your relatives, I mean, the people who you live with at home. Right. People have to help you. I mean, right. they have to support you, and and. You know, but I don't have the support here. Yeah, people, me neither. You know, is, is my my every, wife. You know, every, she, every meal. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I have the <laughs> same problem because my wife, you know, it's not because she's my wife, but she cooks delicious and I'm always asking for, for her to cook something and she says, sure, why not? And 15, 20 minutes later, she says, here, a big, big uh, a dish full of food. Here you have. <laughs> right, right. Uh -huh. So it's true. I mean, like, now if I told her, like, look, I need your help, maybe she would help me, but so far, I have never asked her not to cook. So that's that's the story. <laughs> I got it firm. So, but it was a very good uh, times. I Only we have a lot of pressure, but it was a very good times. Nice. I worked there. Uh, I have eight eight years working there. Ah, nice. Where do you yeah. work, hey. Monica? Mm -hmm. I work in a financial company. It's called AMC. AMC. Yes. Okay, good. Do you guys lend money? Yes. Okay. We lend good. money. Okay, good, good. And that yes. is in San Salvador. Yes, there are. We have fourteen I branches. Guess. Branches yes. in yes. El Salvador. Yes, we have from Santa Ana to La Union. Good, good. Yes. So you like working with numbers? Yes, I like. Good. I, I like a lot. Good, good. Very good. Yeah. And Mario too. Yeah. Mauricio. Both we are 
accountants. Girl, yeah. Yes. So you Irene too. <laughs> Maybe Irene, she, she's an accountant too. Oh, okay. <laughs> so this is the accounting department. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> accountants, rocks. Okay. Uh, no, I'm just kidding because no. <laughs> yeah. You know, I, 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 I admire people that work with numbers like accountants, uh, people that work in marketing, anything that is, has to do with financial things. Mm -hmm. You know, I admire those people because, you know, like if you ask me if I like mathematics, I would You're say like, no. Uh, mathematics and I, we never got along. Never. Yes, but our career... Mm, I, I forgot the, the word um, required that we we read a lot of statement. Yes. Um, uh, no, how do you say normals in English? Normals. Yes. Yeah, norms, frameworks. policies, frameworks. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. yes. Good, good. We, we need to read, a, yes, a standard. Mm hmm. Right. It's called IFRS. Which one? The IFRS. IRS. IF. IFRS. IRS. No. <laughs> International Financial Report Standards. So oh. IFRS. Oh, IFRS. Okay. Uh -huh. That's new for me. <laughs> yeah, this is like the Bible for all the accountants right now. Okay, good, good. All right, let's go back to the main session. Okay, okay. Bye, bye bye. See ya. Bye. All right, all right, welcome back. Any questions or comments on how to use uh, the simple past tense or past continuous? I guess not. Okay, so let's continue. Uh, let's see. Let me show you a list of vocabulary that you will see, or maybe you already have seen in the platform. Uh, let me see this here. Okay, can you see my page? Can you see the list of words? Yes, yes. Yes. Okay. How many words are there? Two, four, six, seven, twelve. Twelve. There are twelve words. Twelve. We twelve. have acceptable, agreeable, agreeable, approving, approving ethical, ethical, fair, fair honest, honest, legal, logical, logical rational, rational, responsible, responsible scrupulous, scrupulous, and trustworthy. trustworthy. Okay. Any questions there about pronunciation? Trust, trustworthy. Trustworthy. Does anybody know the meaning of trustworthy? Trustworthy. Like confiable? Yes. Yeah, trustworthy ah, okay. is a person that you can trust. Okay. Uh huh. Scrupulous, scrupulous is like, is that like in Spanish? Yeah, it's the same one. But but even even I don't understand scrupulous neither in Spanish. I mean, scrupulous is a uh, scrupulosus. Yeah. Someone who ha yeah. doesn't have values or or what? Exactly. That's this is the the the, the introduction to talk about negative adjectives, like someone who doesn't have value. So, unscrupulous, uh-huh, right. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, anybody, there, yes? Can you, uh, can you, how do you pronounce the last word? Trustworthy? Trust, trustworthy. 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 Mm -hmm. Can somebody give me a synonym for trustworthy? Reliable. Reliable. Excellent. Reliable. Okay. Reliable. It's right there in the chat. Reliable. So if someone tells you, look, um, congratulations, you are a reliable person. What they're telling you is that you're a trustworthy person. So trustworthy and reliable are synonyms. Okay. 
acceptable, agreeable, approving, ethical, fair, honest, legal, logical, rational, responsible, scrupulous, and trustworthy. Are we okay there? Agreeable. Agreeable. I mean, it's, it's, well, that would be in Spanish something like... like uh, Aceptable? Negociable, negociador, or, or aceptable. Um, aceptable, or, or, negociable, um, justo. So, agreeable. agreeable. So, yeah. the conditions you are bringing to the negotiation are agreeable. So, we accept them. It's acceptable. It's like a concertador, like a, like no. a political uh, spot. Uh, right. Many years ago, political concertador, capaz. Yeah. Agreeable will be, the, will be concertador. Yeah. Yeah, agreeable. Okay. Thank so, you. do you guys remember the... the the function of prefixes. What is the function of a prefix? Prefijos. Uh -huh. What's it's the function? To modify. Modify. Modify the word. Okay, one more time, please. Modify the it, word. How, how does it modify the word? It changes the way. meaning. Okay, how does it change the meaning? Yep. How? The Maybe it, the it positive meaning opposite. to a negative. Exactly, uh -huh. exactly. So when you use a prefix, like you have acceptable, okay, your conditions are acceptable. What will be the prefix for acceptable? Unacceptable. 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 So um, let's say uh, your little brother or your son, they bring a report from school because he or she has bad behavior. So when you speak with them, you tell them your behavior is unacceptable, unacceptable, okay? Agreeable, approving, ethical. Okay, so all these words here, when you put a prefix, the, the meaning is different. The meaning is the opposite, right? Correct, incorrect. Necessary, unnecessary. Um, agreement, disagreement. So you use different uh, prefixes. Any questions or comments about this vocabulary? No. no. Okay, so let me see this here. So that is prefix. So once again, let me reassign you, recreate. Uh, so let's see. Let me move this person here move this person here. So I want you to uh, um, use the vocabulary that we have on the screen and talk about what type of behavior would a person need to have for you to say, this is unacceptable or this is um, not uh, this is, or you can say, this is illegal, or this is illogical. Your reasons are irrational. So let me break our rooms, add a room. Okay, so I will send you an image to the WhatsApp chat so you guys can talk about um, people's behavior on when you will use this. Give me a second. Uh -huh. Eight to nine, eight to nine. Where's eight to nine? There you go.
Hello, Norma. Hello, teacher. How are you? Fine, thank you. Good. How was your weekend? Uh, very nice. Good. Only good the 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 uh, rain the rain. The who? The the um, the rain. The, the rain. The, the rain. The lluvia. Yeah, the rain. You're in Santana, yes. right? Yes, teacher. Has it been raining a lot? If of the, in the Friday of the of, of the afternoon. Okay. In the Saturday around the two and a half p.m. Okay. And during all the night. Okay. I in, watch. Uh -huh, go ahead. And today, uh, when I travel with my job to my to my house, uh, all the road uh, has raining. Okay. I watched a video in front of McDonald's uh, near uh, Metro Centro. Uh -huh. There is a lot of rain. Um, is, is that recent? No, that uh, in the fake news in the in the Facebook. Okay. Because uh, the afternoon in the Saturday it was raining, but no a Not, lot. Of okay. Uh, that that uh, video was uh, two or three years ago. Oh, okay. No, more or less. All right, good. Jose, how are you? Uh, doing pretty good. Thank you for asking. What about you? I'm doing okay. Good. A new week. Yes, start it again. Yes, and we are closer to December. We're closer to Christmas. Yes, yes it is. <laughs> Right. Feel the turkey. Yes. Okay. So I sent you guys a, a, a list of vocabulary to the WhatsApp chat. So right now I want you to use that vocabulary and analyze um, when um, people become like that. So you say irrational. When does a person's behavior become irrational? When does a person uh, attitude become illogical? So just use uh, that vocabulary to uh, to see when people use it. Okay. okay. All right, good. Close, close with the with the costumes. Yes, they have a, a costume closet. Exactly, for for that reason, she said she said that is unacceptable to kiss on public. <laughs> yes, uh, for example, I enjoy quite uh, um, Chinese movies or Korean movies. Mm, yes. Yes. Yeah. We can we can advance in Monday, Tuesday, but always the last day of the closing dates. Uh, mm -hmm. Always is very tough. So in that day, for example, the, the Friday, we uh, we all see uh, we all saw uh, assume uh, some mistakes from all departments. So we have to correct the mistakes. Uh, for that reason, I I always. Uh, the last day of the closing dates, mm -hmm. uh, I working a lot, and so for the reason I can I didn't came here to the English class, but I don't know why I love my my career, I love my job, mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. and sometimes I I I love that uh, too many people from different uh, departments start to ask me something about finance. You have to drive as low if you are using the right lane on yeah. the street. Yes, it's, it's legal. That is legal. 
Okay. And it's legal to to drive fast if you are in the left the left, the left side. Lane. When you are going to act, you have to to think about the reasons and about the consequences. So you have to use your rational thinking, I I think. Yes, I agree with you in this menu. For uh, that not thing. only yes? Sorry, no, you you say. I was going to say that when you are going to, to make a decision or or act, you have to think and not only follow your feelings because sometimes when we act only taking in account our feelings not all the decisions that we make are the the right ones mm -hmm. it's better mm -hmm. it's better and the next one Irenia, is scrupulous for me <laughs> okay do you think it's it's ethical that the that the majors in El Salvador are spending the FODES uh, budget for uh, for propaganda, for their own propaganda? No agreement. <laughs> uh -huh, okay. Because Do you think? This uh -huh. money is for project, mm -hmm. community programs. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this should be that that budget uh, should be spent on uh, on community projects. I mean, on on the on the municipal projects, not by not for the for for their own propaganda. Yeah, no. political campaign. Political campaign. Uh huh. Okay. Well, uh, do you do you think it's fair, Nubia, that so many? All people is dying by the COVID-19? Mm, no. <laughs> no, it's not fair, actually. I, I, I don't know, Nubia and, and teacher, I don't know. Yeah. Children, children uh, are really being an effect because I haven't seen the statistics, but I believe children, uh, the, the, how to say, the, the more diseases, I reported ah. from 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 all from all people, not from from Chile. Right. On COVID nineteen. Yeah. I don't know yeah. how to spread that my in myself. I mean, I, I'm stuck in here, but you tell me how to say that. Yeah. What? I, 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 correct me if I'm wrong. What you're trying to say is that the diseases are affecting more the elders than children. No. And the, the COVID nineteen is affecting more elder people than than children. Right. It's my perception. I mean. No, it is. It, 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 children it is. have been died, have died. Few children have died few. compared to the exactly few, right? right compared because, to the old elder people. Right, because at the beginning they were saying not oh, this disease will affect only elders, like sixty and more. Mm -hmm. But we were so wrong because at the beginning some children died. The number is very small compared. Uh, to the number of adults that are dying, but uh, yeah, uh, adults mainly uh, the ones that are elders are the ones that are affected the most. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and God is protecting the little ones. Yeah, they are, they are hanging around. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yeah. Right, and and we adults, you know, like we have to take that responsibility of protecting them uh, uh, every way we can. You know, like when we go outside, we wash our hands, we use sanitizer. When we yeah. come back, uh, take off the clothing that you have been using outside and, you know, try to do things. So many distance, social distance measures. Yeah. And yeah. also a health, uh, also washing your hands and, Cleaning your hand with with hell or wearing sanitizer. a mask, uh -huh. a sanitizer or wearing a mask. Uh, that is, those those are uh, those are not social distancing measures. 
Those are sanitary measures? Are those sanitary measures? Well, you know, like that is something uh -huh. we, everybody should do uh -huh. even if this emergency were not here. You know, that is part of being clean. Like, okay, I use sanitizers every, every hour and I use my mask for protection. But now that, uh, 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 that the emergency is here, that is something that everybody must do. They have to do it. Uh -huh. So, you know, plus the two meters you're supposed to keep from, from all the people around you. So that's, but we, we have to be even more careful than just, uh, using a mask and using uh, sanitizer. You know, there's a paradox in this, in this pandemic. I mean, in this stuff, because I have seen many people, uh, taking social distance. Uh -huh. I have seen many people uh, taking sanitizing measures, I mean, uh -huh. health measures like uh, in, in, in getting sick at the end, at the yeah. end they got sick. Exactly. So, and I've seen many, many uh, homeless, uh -huh. homeless people that they don't get, they don't get exactly. sick. Exactly, exactly. So there's a paradox in there because you never you don't know who is gonna get sick I mean, right right yeah. i i have seen exactly uh mm -hmm. the same stories that you're saying like people like okay they're always using protection a sanitizer yeah, they wear a mask they keep a distance and one day they get sick they get the virus and then you have indigents that they have nothing literally they don't even have a mask they don't use sanitizer and they never get sick they never get sick uh-huh uh, and and I seen and I seen also people that that they are not really so meticulous. I mean, yeah, on washing hands. Of right. course, some some people wear masks, but not all the time. They don't wash the hands all the time. I mean, they are not so. How could I say? They are not so precocious. So precocious. Uh huh. And after all, they don't get they don't get sick. They don't get the COVID nineteen. Right. But some some precocious people I've seen uh, a co-worker was so precocious and, and she was so intolerant to other people I mean he always was spraying the the chairs spraying your the your shoes uh -huh. soles, and many many things many uh, I mean he was he was really annoying I, I mean this there was a guy who was really annoying uh -huh. person by by the by the health and and social distance measures uh -huh. that, he, that he used to take but he got sick at the end yeah so yeah. Who, we know we don't know uh, just got no so right we, we know. right okay so let's go back to the main session okay. Okay, um, do you guys remember uh, that expression in the chat? FAQs. What are FAQs? Is the meaning of fre frequent and what question? Yes. Yeah, frequently asked questions. Okay, so let's, let's have a brainstorm exercise. What are some of the questions we hear every day? Even if the conversation is not with you, what are some of the questions we hear every day? Yeah, you related to what? I'm sorry. I anything, didn't get anything. Frequently asked questions. In that case, FAQ, uh, the topic is literal. What are what the questions? What, what time, time is it? it? Very good. What else? Is it going to rain? Is it going to rain? Very good. What else? So only two questions. <laughs> Is that all you hear in your everyday life? <laughs> Lately, yeah. <laughs> you said like, so is it going to rain? What time is Where it? Where do you live? Where do you live? 
where do you live? Okay. What else? How was your weekend? Okay. How was your weekend? Uh huh. Do you have the report right now? Okay. What do you did have you the do? report? I uh, hear every day do? that. On weekend? What did you do on weekend? Uh huh. Okay. So, uh. When do they pay? When do they pay? <laughs> when do they pay? Everybody's asking that. Like, hey, when do they pay? Or like, if you don't have an exact date, you say, have they paid yet? <laughs> they paid yet. Uh -huh. yeah. All right. Oh, okay. It's, uh -huh. Okay. What if someone asks you, how do you commute? How do you commute? Oh, it's, you see, it's, uh, it's a frequent question. Uh -huh. Sure, sure. I, I take a public transportation uh -huh. in the early in the morning. Right. Uh, Five five a.m. early in the morning, I I take a coaster, public transportation, and then, then I go to the company's transportation. Okay, I don't remember if commute is with double T or one T, but you say commute. Yeah, commute is how you go from one place to another. Like Oscar was saying, I take public transportation, and after I use the transportation of the company. How do you commute? I use a taxi, I use a motorcycle, I drive my car. So anyways, so let me show you the set of questions. Uh, that's gonna be today's topic. Let me see, where is this? Right here. Frequently asked questions. Okay, can you see the questions? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes, yes. What's for dinner? Which came first, the chicken or the egg? Why does my computer keep freezing? Chicken or beef and blah, 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 blah. Okay, so these are the questions we will be discussing. We only have 10 minutes for this activity. Philosophic questions. Right, like, uh, yeah, like, uh, and sometimes people say, no, the egg came first. No, the, the, the chicken came first. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let me reassign you, recreate, recreate, and move to room six. And here we go. Answer those questions.
at a six fifty. Oh. Do you live in, in Santa Ana? Santa Ana. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I travel forty minutes every day. Uh, where is what is your your company? What is located? Uh, fruit, uh, fruit of the Loom in American Park. Ah, okay. Prison. Mm -hmm. Okay, I I usually get up at the sorry teacher. Yes. Uh, sorry, can you hear me please? The, can you share the the question? Sure. Because I sure right now. I didn't. Can you see that. it now? Yes, I can. Okay. Hey. Which came first, the <laughs> chicken or the eggs? <laughs> Tell me, Rin. <laughs> the Irene. chicken. Irene. The chicken, Oscar. Okay. <laughs> I don't thank know. Look, in my you. case, sure. I don't. I don't know if in the, and I don't care that much. I don't know. It's so <laughs> it's so abstract right. for me. Yes. In my case. I'm still working from home, so my first class is at 9 a.m. And I have time to sleep a little bit longer. So I wake up at around 8 or sometimes 8.30 because I, I leave my classes prepared the day before so I can sleep a little bit more. Do you have ah, breakfast so before you start working? Mm, no, most of the time I have my breakfast when I have the, the recess because I have the first class at 9, then I have a break from 9.40 to 10.30. Okay. And in that time I, I eat my breakfast. Good, good. Mm -hmm. In my case, I have to, I have to eat. <laughs> yeah, me Before too. Before 6 a.m. <laughs> What, what time do you start your day, Jose? Uh, 6 a.m. I have to have a turn on my PC, my computer. Are you doing home office? Yes. Yes, the 80% I'm home office. Okay. But sometimes I have to go to the outside to visit okay. some projects or maybe like that. Okay. So you, what time do you have your breakfast usually? Uh, 6 30. Okay. 6 30. While I, I am, I have a, uh, the camera turned off. I have to approve <laughs> to it. Yes, because uh, after I have the, the first, the first meeting I have a, no, it start uh, 6 a.m. until 8 a.m. Okay. But immediately, I have a meeting with a client from since 8 a.m. until 9. So that's way until 11. I don't have, I don't have more time to. Right, right. Yes, I, yes, I have to eat in five minutes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know, like I, I was in a training a, a couple of weeks ago and they gave us two breaks, 15 minutes. So, uh, and the lunch was like 30 minutes, I, I, I remember. So, you know, sometimes I will turn off the camera and eat, you know, and then return like nothing happened, you know, like, so they wouldn't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> yes. The best strategy. <laughs> right, right. All right, let's go back to the main session. Okay. Okay. See you. All right. See you at end. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I know we don't have enough time to answer those questions, but we will continue with this exercise tomorrow. Um, do you have any questions okay. or comments about today's class? No, teacher. No, no teacher. No, for sure. Okay, so have a good night. Thank you for your time. I'll be seeing you tomorrow at eight o'clock. Sleep well. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. See ya. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.